Good morning, Sister Gabriella, and thank you for accepting this interview with us because you spent some days to the G20 Interfaith Forum held in Bologna here in Italy. Can you tell us something about what was this meeting about? I discovered that around the G20 event, uh, there are uh, some forums organized that will help also to, um, to find or to give to the, uh, to the government some uh, thoughts, guidelines and reflection from different uh, stakeholders. Uh, and uh, this specific forum was involving uh, religious leaders in dialogue with governmental uh, uh, organization. And uh, the three words suggested by the presidency of the Italian Republic for this G20 are uh, people, planet, prosperity. And uh, in his address to the gathering, to the forum, Pope Francis had peace. So uh, this was uh, a bit the frame uh, and also the topic and the working group preparing this forum were focusing on, uh, um, on these three areas of, uh, um, of reflection. And I guess that you talked during the within the session on gender equality and anti-trafficking which might be the result, the success, when faith and churches collaborate together to fight against trafficking in persons? I was invited to, to speak in, uh, in a panel on human trafficking and modern slavery. It is a part of, um, of gender equality and uh, there was also a panel I attended on these specific issues. Um, the, I think uh, that uh, uh, at least the history of Talita Kum, uh, the network of religious sisters committed against human trafficking, we have um, a very uh, a long experience in this field in many countries throughout the world and collaboration and is really one of the strategies of the most important strategies to combat uh, a crime like human trafficking. And of course, uh, the role of government, the role of civil society and the role of uh, people of faith not only the leaders, but also people, uh, uh, they may do really a difference when, uh, when we are able to collaborate. And the contribution that religion may give uh, and people of faith may give to government is really this uh, ethical, uh, this, uh, uh, ethical and moral dimension, reminding that every person, really everyone, as a, a dignity and uh, because we are uh, uh, we are loved and created by god so there is there is no space for discrimination there is no space for destroying a life and trafficking is about that so we need to remember and to remind to our government that every person of this world is important and need the attention and the care and social policies that will allow also the restoring of dignity in the life of millions of our brothers and sisters deeply wounded by trafficking, by violence and by exploitation. Thank you, Sister Gabriella, for underlining that because this is more or less what Pope Francis actually daily says, and this is why uh, Pope Francis is a fan, let's say, a big supporter of Talita Kum project. Uh, Sister Gabriela, can you tell us how many um, regional and local uh, networks now you can count within Talita Kum? Because I know that there are new networks uh, in your international network and in which, how many countries you are. I am smiling because the more I'm working in Talitakum, the more it's difficult for me to give numbers because Talitakum is a real network. So today we are very active, tomorrow less, here and there. 
but uh, we have local, national, and then regional, and somehow they are organized at regional level, and then they become stronger at national level, and then somewhere they become weak and they gather together at regional level. But anyway, more or less, we should be 60 six zero networks that recognize themselves within Talitacum and uh, in about 90 countries, um, counting 3,000 collaborators, uh, mostly religious sisters, but also religious brothers, uh, people that are allies with us, they collaborate with us, uh, friends of Talitacum, uh, involved uh, in a particular orga um, event organ organization or activities and uh, more and more we are collaborating and they find also a kind of collaboration with us people of different faith tradition like in thailand since a few years they are collaborating with buddhist nuns in indonesia uh, the international day of prayer and awareness uh, against human trafficking february the 8th was uh, held in communion with uh, the islamic uh, uh, islamic and muslim people uh, and uh, in uh, in the Middle East, uh, we have uh, we started together women of different faiths. Yeah. Trafficking in persons is a crime which touches the heart of many people, also outside the church. And Talitakum is not new to interreligious project. I just want to remind Sister Gabriella Wells of hope in the Middle East. I don't know if you can tell us something more about that. The commitment of sisters in country where Christianity is, my, is a minority. First of all, we have to remember that trafficked person belongs to all cultures and all faiths. So it is not a matter of uh, who we are. Uh, human beings are exploited and uh, abused uh, um, and are suffering uh, a lot of violence. Um, for this reason, the response uh, of solidarity has to be interfaith, uh, multicultural and global together. Um, the idea of Wells of Hope uh, was uh, a request from uh, during our gathering, uh, uh, an international gathering in Rome in 2016, where the sister uh, from Africa asked uh, to Talitacum International to address the issue of um, trafficking in the region of the Middle East, uh, where many girls uh, and women were trafficked too. Uh, like a destination area for uh, not only sub-Saharan African women, but also from the Middle East, uh, sorry, from, uh, the, uh, from East Asia and many other countries. Um, we, uh, I had the perception that uh, it was not possible to start uh, alone, that in an in a area like that area where the interreligious diversity is really um, a resource, an important resource, we had to use it uh, in, uh, in a positive way to respond to this challenge. So thanks be to God, we were able to identify Sister Mary Claude Nadaf, a religious sister from the Good Shepherd, uh, with her uh, long uh, experience in the field of uh, supporting women in situation of uh, vulnerabilities, but also with a deep sensitivity uh, in uh, dialogue with people of different faith traditions. And she was really an important leader in that region to start uh, with uh, this important uh, network, I would like to say, yes. To receive, to read more information about Wells of Hope project, you can go on talitacum.info website and also buy and support this project by the CD, which is very beautiful. We, we, we stream here at the USG. Thank you, Sister Gabriella. And uh, from, I mean, listening to you, I realized that actually fighting against trafficking persons in something that unites 
people of goodwill throughout the world. So thank you for the work that you are doing and thank you for representing the incredible work of religious sisters at the institutional level. So I think that your presence there was a sort of exception in the interfaith forum, am I right? There were a, a good night and a nice group of women and I had also the opportunity to meet some of these uh, uh, very uh, strong women uh, committed uh, for a, a interreligious dialogue for peace uh, and I hope that uh, this meeting I had will uh, help Talita Kum also to grow in this very important dimension because uh, we learned that the, the real change are coming from inside, not from outside. Like we are trying to bring some change in the reflection on our culture and faith tradition, we need also to expand the involvement of diverse people throughout the world to make this uh, idea of transforming the culture and the economy of trafficking into an economy of care. Economy of care. Pope Francis is inviting a lot, a lot, all of us to to care. You know the culture of care. Thank you very much, Sister Gabriella, and I hope that you can feel the support of all the religious sisters throughout the world, praying for your mission and pray also for the survivors and for the victim, victim, victims, uh, whose majority are girls and women. So thank you, Sister Gabriella and keep going with your mission.